Okay, so this video is going to show you how to use J the JSON files to edit them and then use that data um, to copy and paste lighting events, to do kind of advanced copy and paste of, of different note patterns. And there's all kinds of cool things you can do if you understand how the JSON files work. Um, so the first thing we want to do is get a good JSON file editor and a really great one is the Atom editor. So if you don't already have it, you're going to go to atom.io and um, this is completely free code text editor um, that's really, really fantastic with all kinds of different features. So you're just going to download that and install that. You're going to go in um, and you'll get this welcome guide. Um, so what we want to do, what we want to do is install a few different packages, and these are kind of like add-on packs to the Atom editor. So click on install a package and click open installer. Um, let me get close that now. All right, um, here's a couple packages you'll want to install. And so what you do is go over to the install, and you can just search for it, and then click this install button, and that's it. So you want to search for colorful JSON. This makes it easy to see your JSON files. Um, type file watcher. And what this does is um, if we make a change in the um, edit saber, it'll auto detect that a change was made and it can reopen those changes without having to reload the file. Um, Minimap, that's just a, a nice way of being able to see all of your file kind of as a as a whole um, format JSON or the the pretty JSON um, I'll show you that in just a minute and this just makes the Atom editor a little prettier to look at um, not necessary so um, we're gonna take a look at our first just picked a random song here um, and what we want to do is go into, I'm going to take a look at this song. Now let's say we just wanted to take the events or, or copy these walls. Um, it's like four different walls. We just want to copy these and make it go out to eight. So what we can do is we go to our Atom Editor. Let me close that just to show you. If we go and browse our song, we can take our song, just drag it to the editor. And here we'll see um, it's kind of a mess. It's um, the, the JSON file that's been minified. That means it's been really condensed down to make um, the code more efficient from a computer standpoint. Um, but it's really hard to read. So that's where we go to our package and we want to click Prettify. And now this is much more like the JSON file if we were actually to handwrite it. Um, so if you go under the line, um, you'll notice this, this fold icon here. And so what that does is it folds everything between two brackets in the code. So these are all of the events codes that go all the way down till it reaches the other bracket. So if we just click fold here, we'll fold all the events, we can fold all the notes, and here we are to obstacles, which these are the walls. Um, so let's go ahead and just, we wanted, um, we wanted to copy from zero time to four. It goes all the way from zero to four. So we just want to time zero there. And then um, it's actually not at 4, it starts at 3 and goes to 4. So that's why 3 is our last one. Um, and we just click copy. Now let's go and open up our scratch file. And let's put the obstacles in here. I'm just going to click enter and then paste. So I'll save that. Now I can move over to the editor. And let's open up our scratch file. And here we have um, our walls. 
Now let's just go and move it four. So now it's at four. I'm gonna click save there. Now we can reload that. We click packages, um, prettify. And now we have from four on to seven, which extends all the way to eight. So I'm gonna copy between that curly bracket and that curly bracket, just click copy. And since I did save it a second ago, I'm gonna to have to reload that. Okay, let me just move these down. All right, um, so it goes zero to three. And now let's just add uh, these other, make sure there's a comma at the end of that. And I'm gonna click save. And now if I go back over to my expert track, here we go, now we've got zero all the way out to eight. So I just copied and pasted the walls event. Um, so I'm just going slow with this to show you how it works, but it's actually really fast. It's just throw it in that scratch file, um, make a move, and then copy it into your project. Um, so let me just show you the same can be done for any lighting event. So let's go and let's say Say I just wanted to copy eight. Let's see, from eight down to twenty or something. Um, so let's just go back over here, and then uh, let's go over to our. Let me close this. So the the events that's what does the lighting. So we can just look at time. So the events that start at eight, let's just go down all the way to 20. So it starts at 19, it goes on. Um, so same kind of deal. I can just move over to my scratch track and I could just hit delete here um, so I can keep the, the scratch track clean. And I'm gonna do the same thing, hit enter on events hit save. Now I can just scoot on over to the easy. And now you'll see that I copied my events. What is going on here? This mouse does not like it. Okay. Um, so I've got all the way from so to 20. went from 8 to 20. Now if I wanted to um, if I wanted to move these I'm going to use my scratch track to um, say if I wanted to move those lighting events to the very beginning um, since we're on 8 we're going to go negative 8. Okay my lighting events now start at the beginning and go to 20. I'm going to hit save. And here, um, again, each time you save it, you're going to have to prettify it again. But now I have lighting events that start from the beginning. And I can just copy that lighting event piece that I made. Just did a cut right there. Um, and I can. I mean, we already have lighting events for the beginning, but I could just come here and paste those if I didn't, and that would put those lighting events right on that spot. So um, it's not really complex. Hopefully this kind of gives you an overview of how you can use a scratch track to make moves with the um, apply moves. So you, you just want to cut a section. You um, look for the line that that section is in, go to the JSON, put in your scratch track, move it, and then um, you're gonna paste it back into your actual um, project. So that's it, that's copy and pasting lighting events.
um, using Edit Saber and using the Atom Editor.